Right, this is a uh, Sam Sterling here from primarymilesmadeeasy.com, and I just want to go through one of the ways I teach my children how to do multiplication. Um, this is what it's called Napier's Bones, and it's one that I learned myself about a, just over a year and a half ago. And the best way to do it is for me to actually show you what it is. So, first things first, I get my whiteboard. So say I have 63 times 47. Now some of you as well know the grid method of doing this, so it's similar to setting it out like that. So I've got two digits here and two digits here, which means that I need to do a grid which is two by two. So I complete my grid. I've got my two by two grid. Now at the top of each of these sections I just write the whole number. I don't, I'm sorry, the digits from the number. I don't write it the 60 and the 3. I don't uh, partition it like that. I just write a 6 and a 3 here. And obviously down the side, this side, I'm going to write a 4 and a 7. So we're nearly there. What I also need to do is I need to split each box in half diagonally going the same way. Okay. Then once you've got it set up, <clears throat> this is where the easy part comes in. All you do is you multiply the corresponding numbers together and put it in the box. So here I would have three times four and then here I need to put twelve. So I put the ten part of the answer in the top part of the uh, box and then the units in the bottom. And again this one would be 3 times 7 which is 21. And then I've got 6 times 4 which is 24 and then 6 times 7 which gives me 42. Now this is where the fancy part comes in. The What you then need to do is you need to add up all the diagonals together. So each diagonal that you can see, all the numbers in each diagonal need to be added up together. So start from the start. So all the numbers in this diagonal equal 1. And I write 1 below here. Then I add up all the numbers in this diagonal. And I've got 2 plus 2 plus 2 gives me 6. Then again move along to the next diagonal so I've got 4 plus 4 plus 1 gives me 9 and the final diagonal I add it up and that gives me 2. And the answer for 63 times 47 is around the outside of the grid so it equals 2900 60. Well, okay, I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to do it with a 3 by 2. So, say I've got 249 times 63. The reason why I do that is there's a lot of SATS tests that will be coming up. Actually, they've got a lot of 3 by 2 questions multiplying. So, so I need to do a grid which is 3 digits. A two. So I do my one, two, three, one, two, and then complete it. Then I split every single square in half diagonally. Then I just write the digits across the top, two, four, nine, and then down the side I write sixty three. So in this here box it will be 9 times 6, which gives me 54. This box, 9 times 3, 27. This box, 4 times 6, 24. And then 4 times 3 is 12. And then 2 times 6 is 12. And 2 times 3 gives me 6. And as you can see, I put a 0 in there because there's no tens. Now, again like last time, you recognise where each diagonal is. 
and in each of these diagonals you're going to add them all together and the number answer for that will come out the bottom here so first one is seven second I need to add together the four the two and the two which gives me eight now this one I add together again so I got five plus four plus one plus six so these 5 plus 4 plus 1 is 10, plus 6 is 16. Now this is what we need to remember. A bit like in column addition, you write the 6 from the 16 and carry the 1 to the next diagonal. So now, and the key thing to remember that this is just worth 1. It is not worth 10, it's just worth 1. So when we're adding this up we add 2 plus 4 plus the 1 which has been carried from the previous column which gives me 5 and then the final column added up is 1 and the answer is on the outside so my answer is 1 15,687 just about enough room get rid of that looks like a decimal point so if you want to what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to Right out of the question, uh, 37 times 94. I'm going to draw out the grid just if you want to get how to try this yourself with a piece of paper and do see if you get the answer. So, if, um, you want to pause the video, all right, and then have a go at it yourself, and then unpause it whenever you would like to see the, me actually going through this one. Okay, hopefully you've paused it. So, remember you just write the individual numbers. So I write 37, 94, and 7 times 9 gives me 63, 7 times 4 is 28, 3 times 9 is 27, 3 times 4 is 12. Then I identify the diagonals, all the diagonals that I need to add together, so all these numbers each diagonal. So this one will be 8 and 3 plus 2 plus 2 gives me 7 then 8 plus 6 gives me 14 so I'll put the 4 from the 14 here and then carry the 1 to the next diagonal. Now this one remember and this is just worth 1 is 2 plus 1 which is 3 and your answer is 3,478. Um, if you've got any more questions about this method, just ping me a message. Um, at www, um, if you go to www.primarymathsmadeeasy.com and I'd be happy to help out, stick on any videos. Or